This video presents field tests of a novel unmanned system swarm control framework, command and control of aggregate swarm tactics, or CCAST, being developed by the Raytheon BBN Technologies Unmanned Innovations Lab as part of the DARPA Offset Program. The CCAST framework orchestrates the planning, simulation, deployment, monitoring, and evaluation of swarms of currently up to 250 heterogeneous collaborative autonomous agents toward executing complex missions in urban settings. CCAST is built upon open source tools such as the robotic operating system in PX4 and focuses on practical services for large-scale swarm management, seamless transition between simulation services and real-time operation, and enabling platform for integrating new leading-edge capabilities developed by other organizations. Together with teammates SIFT and Oregon State University, the Raytheon BBN Technologies Unmanned Innovations Lab participated in the third of six planned field experiments of the CCAST system. At the field experiment three, CCAST was used to plan and execute missions deploying large collections of autonomous air and ground systems to find simulated embedded intelligence cues while avoiding dynamic threats to mission success in a realistic urban environment at Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Pre-mission preparation commences by deploying one or more PX4-based Wingtra-1 mapping platforms to capture high-resolution photos of the area of interest. The imagery and metadata are processed to produce digital terrain and surface models, a labeled point cloud used to enable safe global path planning, and a high-accuracy geo-rectified 3D model for mission planning and execution. CCAS provides an interactive Swarm Tactics Operations and Mission Planning, or STOMP, tool for building CCAS mission plans. STOMP hooks into CCAS multi-resolution swarm simulation environment to rapidly test, evaluate, and refine mission plans. The CCAS simulation environment, which leverages ArduPilot, PX4, and Microsoft AirSim, provides near real-time insights to STOMP, and can also be easily scripted for long-running data collection. Mission preparation begins by positioning and readying platforms in a designated deployment and recovery zone. As platforms boot and join the wireless swarm network, currently consisting of a private LTE macro cell, they are automatically checked to ensure they are running the expected software and configurations and the platform is functioning normally. Even the largest CCAS swarms are intended to be overseen by a single operator we call the swarm commander. After a systems check, the Swarm Commander enters CCAS Virtual Reality Commander Interface, the Immersive Interaction Interface, or I3, which is used to initiate mission phases and monitor the overall execution of the mission plan. During the entirety of the mission, the CCAS framework is monitoring each platform and progress against the plan, including automatically allocating the best platforms to achieve mission objectives. The strategies by which CCAS platforms collaborate to accomplish goals are called swarm tactics. These tactics are composed to orchestrate complex, multifaceted missions. Examples of swarm tactics that are used as mission planning building blocks include 1. A module for coordinated searching for simulated intelligence cues scattered throughout an area of concern, in our case in the form of April tags placed in the environment, and 2. A module that reacts to virtual actors in the environment through Bluetooth low energy protocol interactions with artifacts. Onboard distributed autonomous agent logic embedded in the CCAS framework is constantly monitoring platform health and the status of other nearby agents and their progress towards shared goals. Agents can dynamically request help from other platforms. For instance, a platform sensing low battery will automatically request a replacement to pick up where it left off. Similarly, CCAST incorporates multiple levels of dynamic obstacle avoidance for preventing collisions with obstructions and other agents, as well as autonomy framework for localization and navigation, both indoors, without GPS, and outdoors. The positions and status of CCAST platforms can be monitored on-site and remotely in near real-time with a variety of displays ranging from the i3 virtual reality interface to a common Android phone running the Team Awareness Kit for Situation Awareness. CCAS provides a framework for integrating third-party software and hardware, and during this exercise, five swarm sprinters leveraged this framework to test and evaluate their emerging swarm capabilities as potential augmentations to the evolving system context. Part of our experimentation is evaluating the feasibility, accessibility, and utility of interfaces, training material, and use of simulation by outside organizations as paths of enhancement to the CCAS system. 
Northwestern University utilized CCAST to demonstrate collaborative negotiation algorithms to enhance CCAST's default path planning with a ThreadAware version to avoid perilous areas. Sortec integrated with CCAST to extend indoor exploration algorithms in order to search areas collaboratively with multiple agents avoiding unnecessary re-exploration. Charles River Analytics leveraged CCAST to demonstrate their augmented reality swarm command and control interface to opportunistically task CCAST subswarms. Carnegie Mellon built CCAST tactics to demonstrate and evaluate obstacle-aware multi-agent blocking and formation control in the CCAST physical testbed. Finally, Case Western and Texas A&M built augmented reality shared sand table visualizations from CCAST's 3D model and live telemetry for collaborative mission monitoring. In one run at FX3, CCAST deployed over 60 platforms simultaneously and discovered and reacted to over 180 unique April tags embedded in the environment. The CCAST framework builds heavily upon open source software such as PX4 and the communities and ecosystems they enable. We look forward to continuing to work with and contribute to the PX4 community towards enabling safe, automated, effective, low-cost swarm system capabilities and control. Please visit our website at www.swarmtactics.com to learn more about the CCAST system for orchestrating and managing large-scale drone swarms executing complex mission behaviors.